Hello, and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show how is touch node works. You can do many things with that node. In this video, I'll show only few things. At screen you can see what we are going to make. We are using random 5 node, timer node, and clickable random background color button. So, let's begin. Games. First, I open default template. And open 3D world. Now, open Cube's asset. Enable physics. I set its type as dynamic. Under controls menu, drag is touched node. Also drag move node under movement menu. I set its speed values to come towards camera. Now I drag defeat node. And connect it with his touch node. And let's add delay node. Now I'm adding script node, but please, don't freak out. We are not going to code, just copy and paste explosions node script. And adding input, called as, enabled. Connect with defeat node. And connect move node with start node. Back to 3D world. Now I duplicate cube's asset. And naming it as debris. It is needed for explosion script. Deleting unnecessary stuff in that node map. And adding remove node after 2 seconds of delay. I just realized that I did not add remove node into cube's asset. So, fixing that now. Now I adjust camera position and testing it. Yay, it works. Now I'm adding random 5 node to add some random movements. You're a rebel, getting into trouble You are kinda like a fire, like a fire, like a fire Unpredictable, so original You are never backing down, backing down, backing down That's what I like about you So dangerous, I get this rush When I'm with you From Assets Library, I import another cube I make it as a spawner, which throws out cubes. Adding timer node. This activates in every one second. Connect it with start node. And add random 5 node again. Because I'm making 5 different cubes. Connect it with timer node. And we need 5 spawn nodes. I name them as cube, cube 2, cube 3, cube 4, and cube 5. And also connecting them with random 5 outputs. Now 
I need to duplicate cube. Total of five cubes are needed. Giving them different color. Kind of ignorant. You don't care what people say, people say, people say. I'm going crazy for your And same thing with debris asset. Sweet, what can I say? That's what I like about you. to modify explosion script and change debris name accordingly also renaming spawner asset as spawner delete cube in 3d world window and replacing it with spawner asset <laughs> delete its mesh so it is invisible testing now should stay but there you go i have so much i want to say and it works it spawns random cubes and everything works fine. Still have so much I wanna talk about, but I messed it up and there you go. Opening grounds asset and settings its physics type is static. It felt so close. close. Moving it front of camera. So, if cube collides with it, it is game over. You'll never be forgiving me And I just want you to know I didn't mean it Baby, I just wanna be with you I should be with you Again, deleting mesh to make it invisible And I have to add if collide node, so it's game over if Q collides with it. If I could do it all again, there is so much that I would change about the way I treated you. I don't deserve a second chance. I know that I'm way too late, cause I messed it up and there you go. Let's make game over UI.
open assets library and import another cube. Now we are making a cube button. When clicked, it changes to random background color. You're the only reason. Baby, you're the answer to my another use for is touch node. Drag set background color node. From set random color node, I get random color code. Connected with his touch node. You and I run away. You and I be on our way. Back our backs and take this love to a different place. Now. Giving it a proper name. On our way. And drag it to your screen. Let's play now. Works just like we wanted. With his touch node, you can do so many more cool stuff. Please comment below what ideas you have how to use his touch node. You can find this BB doc file in description. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you next time.